Hello, my Smexy suckers. Welcome back to the Undecided Over Bigger channel. I am Jordan Macy. Eh. Um, I don't know what that noise was. <laughs> so if you guys know anything about me, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you guys know that I fucking love my mother. She is my fucking best friend. I love her with all of my life. Um, we're twinning, like, 24-7. Like, I always get, like, asked... Like, why do I look so much like my mother? Like, I am her twin. I mean, which I'm thankful for because they also like to call her a MILF. So, that means I'm gonna be a hot mama. <laughs> I suck with my fingers when I do that. I think it's because this is like a total left-handed mug. And I'm not left-handed. Um, what was I talking about? my mother um so you guys know that i have this tattoo it says family and my mom my dad my uncle and my grandmother um nancy um they all have the tattoo as well and i i really love family and if you guys know anything about me um like i love tattoos <laughs> like i only have i only had this one for a long time and um i like, I already know all the tattoos I want to get, and, um, like, it's mostly going to be two sleeves. And so my mother and I, we were battling a long time trying to figure out what our mother-daughter tattoo was going to be. At first, we were wanted, like, a mermaid fin, um, and then, like, we wanted, like, some rosaries for my grandma Mary that passed away. Um, and then... We wanted like skulls and then my mom found a pocket watch and we were like okay so the pocket watch can have my birth time which is 2 25 a.m and we like with the mermaid tail we wanted um like it to say eternal bond like through it so we like added the eternal bond to the pocket watch and then we instead of rosary we were like roses um and then there is like a really cute um thing in it as well if you guys know i i'm repeating this line my line today is if you guys know me at all um but if you guys know me you know like if you know me personally and you know where i live or like i've told you the story i I have two maple trees in my backyard. There's like a skinny one and a fat one. And like they're kind of intertwined together. And I call them Mr. and Mrs. Tree. The skinny one is Mr. Tree. The big one is Mrs. Tree. Because a lady's got to have power. Like she's a big, beautiful, thick woman. And I love her. Um, and I always used to like hang out underneath them. And like read books. Like instead of jumping on my trampoline. I'd lay on my trampoline and read books underneath them. Um, I've, like, climbed on them a little bit, and, like, my mom and I would, like, we'd hang out underneath them, like, with the hammocks and stuff, and, uh, <sighs> we'd lay underneath them with, like, hammocks and stuff, and it, like, <sighs> it was just, like, it's, like, really bonding, you know, like, we plan on moving um after like i finish college and i'll never see those trees again i mean unless i come back to new york um but i love i love <laughs> i don't know i i love my mom and when we decided to get a matching tattoo i got really excited because she's literally my best friend like i tell her almost everything and i don't know and i think that it was a good choice to do it now um, because we have a lot of family issues going on. Um, and this is my tattoo. Um, so like I said, like those are the two maple trees. And then that's the birth, my birth time. And then in here, it says when we first met and eternal bond. And it's engulfed in a rose, so. Look at my fat arm. Like, look at her. Look at her fat arm. <laughs> um, wait, do I have a scratch on my arm? What's going on? Anyway. 
So yeah, I just wanted to share you, w- that with you guys, um, because I share a lot of aspects. Like when I got my nose pierced, I shared it with you. When I got my driver's license, I shared it with you. When I got my learner's permit, I shared it with you. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, and I'll like put in some pictures um, because you have to have like a wrap on it. And um, he told me like four to six days. So I like got it on the 23rd and I took it off on like Tuesday night. And um, when I took it off, I mean, just look at it. It's gross. <laughs> like, when I took it off, you could still see the box on my arm. I'm not even joking. Like, he told me that, like, the dead skin would come off and shit. I didn't know it was gonna come off that bad. Like, I feel like I need a full body scrub. Like, I feel like I have so much dead skin on me or something. And it's, like, still a little scaly. Like, I'm still putting on, um, I'm still putting on lotion and stuff, but you can, like, I'm not supposed to pick this, but I can't help it. It's like a sunburn. Like, you know, like, when you get a sunburn and, like, like your skin starts to peel off in, like, big patches and you just want to peel it off. You just want to peel it off so bad. And then you just have, you have to, like, tell yourself not to because then your tan's going to go away. Yeah, the same thing happens with tattoos. You can't peel the skin or else your tattoo is going to go away in patches. And you don't want that shit. That's some bad luck shit. Um, what's up with those? Look, what's up? Um... But yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I'll add in, like, a few pictures and stuff, and yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that notification bell down below so you guys know when I post. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love you so much. Peace out. Bye.